on our door. 7.30's here. Here he's coming in. And as you'll see, some seem prepared to do things that police find quite disturbing. The one that bothered me the most was the guy that showed up with rope and duct tape in his vehicle. When we return, you'll meet that man. What was he really planning? You talk about using the rope in various sex acts with this 15-year-old girl. 7.30's here. But most men who show up at our house are willing to talk. He is on the steps, opening the door. Like this man, 30-year-old Kenneth Fortin. Watch it, he's coming fast. He's in the kitchen, call out. Hey, I'm in here! He's been chatting online with a decoy posing as a 15-year-old. He describes detailed plans for their sexual rendezvous. He says he likes to start with oral sex. After that, he asks her what position she'd like to try first. And he also asks if he can do more. Can I tie you up? You got, like, ropes and stuff? Yeah, I work construction, so I have all kinds of stuff. But if you like rope, I'll bring rope. And where? So did he actually bring rope? Hey, I'm about to put on my bra and panties. Come on in. Keep going. He's coming fast. Rob, go ahead. Chris has him. How you doing? All right. Howard. Do you have a seat over in that chair, please? He says he's here to meet a girl, but he can't remember her name. And he's a little vague about her age. Rather young. Rather young. As in? 15 or 16. Mm -hmm. 15. And how old are you? 30. And it's okay for a 30-year-old man to come to a home where a 15-year-old girl is alone. Why? No, it's not okay. During their online chat, they talked about condoms. He also said he'd bring marijuana. Did you bring condoms with you? No. Not in your car? No. Did you bring marijuana? No. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. But is he telling the truth? We'll find out later when police oh, search his car. Question here too. But now he does admit to bringing one thing. Did you bring rope with you tonight? I have rope in my car. You have rope in your car? Yes, for my job. You talk about using the rope in various sex acts with this 15-year-old girl. What would have happened if a 15-year-old girl was here and I wasn't? Same thing that's happening now, just talking. Do you see why that's very difficult for me to believe based on this chat? Yes, I do. That's the guy's honest truth, though. But I why should I believe I, that? Because I have a six-year-old daughter that I'm trying to see. You have a six-year-old daughter. Yeah. How would you feel if a stranger came I'd into your know. home? I'd hate it. <laughs> I'd hate it. So why then is it okay for you to come into this home where you thought a girl was alone? Bad judgment. There seems to be a lot of bad judgment in the air. I'm, this is my first one. He's yeah. coming around back. And remember that man, Kenneth Fortin, who online asked a girl claiming to be 15 if he could tie her up? Look what the police find in his car. So there's rope? There's rope. There's duct tape and I sent it for He did admit to me that he had rope in his car, but he denied bringing anything else. Did you bring condoms with you? No. No? Not in your car? No. Did you bring marijuana? No. Are you sure? Turns out he wasn't telling me the truth. The police find the marijuana. What do you got going? A little bit of weed. And a box of condoms. 